on, people. Let's go. Let's go. We got lives on the line. Man, there's 24 lives on the line, and we have got to get these things to the water now. Yeah, we don't want them dying in the truck. No, we want them to die in a big old mouth. mouth. Big old bass mouth. <laughs> big old mouth. Bertha. We want big Bertha. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, it's an emergency. Got to get up. these fish to the water. Okay, this is a basic rig for our live bait. What we got? Fishing pole, fishing line, bobber, circle hook. Now, on the options, you could put a weight in the bottom if you want to keep your uh, live bait down low, but today we're not going to be using it. Now it's time to show you guys how to hook your live bait. Here's how I like to hook them. Ricky's got a different way of doing it, but I feel like they stay alive a little bit longer. Hook them right there in the bottom of their mouth and up through that hard part in their head right there. Kind of messes with their brain a little bit because it kind of goes through their brain, but they still swim around and they stay alive for a very long time. Now, I do mine's a little bit different than Mike. Neither way is wrong, they both is right. It's just the key is to make sure our live bait stays alive. So what I'd like to do is I go right behind this dorsal fin right here, and I just go just, just past the um, spine right there. I don't go too deep because I don't want to um, harm any internal organs, but they'll swim forever like that. Look at that, he's already trying to go. Already trying to go. So he'll swim forever like that. So we're gonna go ahead and give this guy a talk. Get him back in the water. All right, our cameraman just caught something. We'll see what he got. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Uh oh. Big bluegill. No way. Dude, that sucker's huge. Yo, look at that bluegill. Look at that bluegill. Yeah. What? That thing is huge. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> it bit the hook too. God. Yo, we're out here trying to catch bass and this guy's catching bluegill. Look at our cameraman. He's destroying the bluegill. Look at that beast, bro. Hold him up to your hand like this. Like this. Yo, <laughs> look at that. I think it's huge, man. Huge. Holy crap. Jesus. So what we're watching for when we're fishing with these bobbers is a lot of times the shiner, before the bass eats it, he'll start running from the bass. He'll see the bass first and he'll start well, not running, they ain't got legs, but he'll start swimming away to try to get away from the bass. So you'll see your bobber just kind of moving away a little bit faster than what it normally is when the fish is swimming around. As soon as it hits, it takes off and goes under the water, you gotta give it a couple seconds so the bass can swallow it, and then you're on. You are on. You are on. Run straight to your left. Tell me you got something. You got something? Yep, I got one. Ooh, 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 ooh. That ain't my shiner. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. What you got? What you got? What you got? Yes! Look at that beast right there. <laughs> Live shine. First bass. Live First bass. <laughs> Let's go. Jesus. Can you grab it? <laughs> Oh yeah, hooked him right in the tongue. Nice. There he is. Wow, look at that. That's about what two pounds? Uh, maybe one and a half. Yeah. I don't know. Nice. Pretty good little catch though. I'm gonna yeah. throw him back in the water. We didn't bring a cooler. We didn't plan on cooking and eating. So. Nah, nah. It's all catch and release. So, wave. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Here you go. Here's the release. He's gonna swim. Snatch was that? Got his, got his booty. 
Oh snap, yo. Oh, uh oh, yo, what is this? Oh my god. Dude, you just got a nice bass. Look at it. Oh, that's a that's a mudfish. That's a mudfish. No way! Look how big this sucker is, bro. Look at this big bowfin. <laughs> He's gonna drag him up on the boat ramp. <laughs> He's too big to carry him. Up. I know. <laughs> what? Look at that. <laughs> Yo, look at that. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna lift this bad boy. He's got teeth. Mm -hmm. Yo, oh my god, he's huge. Yeah, bow fan on the shiner. Sucker looks like he's about Should five, six this pounds. Bad boy later? No. <laughs> what? Yeah, I was wondering, like, yo, that's not a bass. It didn't mm -hmm. fight like no bass. Hold on. Ow. There's teeth back there. Why can't I grab him? I can't get a good hook on him. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> Record this. I am. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. Stop. Stop being bad. There, I got a grip on you now. Sucker fool. There we go. Hold him up. Bowfin on the look, shiner. Look at this, man. We got the bowfin on a live shiner. Like live bait, man. On the river could be very unpredictable. I thought it was gonna be a bass at first. But look at this. How, man, this is what, like six pounds? Yeah. Like, it's just, it's bigger than my forearm. Uh-huh. Huge. Okay, go. And it's released. <laughs> Just got it. That's a really way to release it. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Great times, man. Great times. Woo! Let's go. So we showed you two different ways to rig your live bait. Put down in the comments below how you rig your live bait. Also, we showed you two different species of fish that you can catch with a shiner. What were they, Ricky? They were the largemouth bass, and then we also caught a bowfin. A bowfin? A bowfin. Mudfish. Oh man, that's a horrible fish to catch. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was. But hey, it was big, it was yeah. big. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow us on all social media. And never forget to check out the outdoors.